Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. My name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks. And y'all, we actually got a little bit of running around to do today. So let me tell y'all real quick what we're about to get into. But first things first, hey, if you're new around here, my name is Mink. This is Mink's Kinks. I do a lot of lifestyle, beauty, natural hair, lifestyle type of content. So if you're interested in any of those things, definitely go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you join our Kinky Crew and leave me a comment down below so that I can personally welcome you to our Kinky Crew fam. So like I was saying, y'all. Um, I have a couple little errands to run. I need to go get my I need to go get my oil change. I need to um, go to Sally's to get something. I need to go get some quarters, run to CVS, like nothing too too crazy, but you know, watch this be an all day thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. Um, I guess I could give you guys a little fit check. So this is what I'm wearing today. This is with the Curl Smith Wash and Go. Um, I wasn't a fan of that, but it turned out to be a decent puff. I just have on this little Tupac hoodie, some biker shorts, and my Birkenstocks. Don't mind my background because, as y'all know, I'm moving. This will be a lot of moving content. I think this will be the last vlog until I move. I think. I think, y'all. But yeah, this is the fit of the day. And I'm literally just doing a little bit of errands, so there's no need to get all cute and whatever. So first things first, we got to go to Dunkin' so I can have something to do in my car. I'm also bringing my book. I'm really close to fin finishing this book, so I think I'm going to try my best to finish it this weekend. Um, and I have three other books sat out. I have these books left out just in case I um, finish this book and need something else to read. So I gave myself three options. I'm actually saving the neighbor favor for when I move into the new place because, hello, um, hello <laughs> so yeah y'all let's go to duncan and then we'll get everything else that we need to get done today Hey y'all, so I'm home, obviously, looking a mess. Um, I don't want to sit in my usual place because I'm doing laundry, so there's clothes all over the couch. But I am home, I'm literally editing a vlog as we speak. So, literally on the couch when my clothes are drying, editing this vlog. But, I just realized that I didn't show you guys what I got today. Um, so you guys saw that I went to CVS and Sally's and um, from CVS I did go ahead and pick up the Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel. Now if you're following me on like Instagram, y'all saw me post this in real time. I posted this on my Instagram story which I post a pop up on my Instagram so go follow me on Instagram. Show me some love over there. But um, Curl Days is a natural YouTuber. I'm not sure if she still posts anymore. Um, but she came out with her own collection and I always hear about this glossy shine gel. Um, so I was talking to one of my crow friends about it. She really likes it. She thinks it's like a more stronghold gel. And then I know that Kim Kim Curls, um, she doesn't post as frequently as she used to, but I know for sure that she really does enjoy that gel. So I'm excited to try it. I didn't pick up, they had, um, I know it was like a curl styler like a curl cream situation and then there was one other thing maybe like a leave-in situation but honestly mm, um i wanted to try this so i'm excited to try this and then when i did go to sally's i did go ahead and pick up two of some of my faves this is the curl piece tender hitted pre -poo. um if you know you know <laughs> if you know you know that's all i need to say about that y'all know i go through those in in droves honey um, I'm literally going to finish one tomorrow when I pre-poo my puff. I, mean, I honestly don't even think I had enough, which is why I wanted to go and get some more jars. And it's to the point now where I don't even buy them individually. Like, I only buy them in twos. So, 
but yeah um i just wanted to hop on real quick and just show you guys that i got those three products um the shelf is just about cleared off i do want to get some more packing done today but tomorrow is wash day i also have some filming to do so i figure it would be easier for me to just go ahead and um finish this video i'm sorry if you guys hear my air conditioner in the back chill i'm not reaching out to them about that name one one more thing okay um i officially get out of here in 21 days we are counting down baby the minutes do you hear me so um i have a lot more packing to do so i'm hoping i'll get some packing done tonight as well but yeah i am i have been on the go on the go on the go ever since i found out about this move so i think today i can take a few minutes and just debrief you uh, i'm back um i just wanted to hop on real quick because i did go to lowe's and i got some boxes so these are the medium size boxes and they actually have like the little handles too so that the guys who are helping me move can um pick up the handles and stuff um so i just stopped in there for whatever reason and i promise y'all i got five boxes for ten dollars hello i bought one or two boxes from target and it was like three dollars a piece so if you're moving or just need boxes for whatever reason go to lowe's so so inexpensive sorry if y'all hear the thunder in the background is storming so then i did go and get my wax and anytime i go and get my wax i have to reward myself with something so today was dinner um because of course we're moving we're tired of cooking um, so I went to Panda Express and I like to get the honey walnut shrimp. I get the honey walnut shrimp um, and the noodles. And then the key ingredient here is this um, teriyaki sauce because I think the noodles are a little bit dry. Oh, not my power went out. I did come back on, but I figured I could give y'all a little glimpse of the storm. So um, just, a, just a thunderstorm. Um, but it started coming down out of absolutely nowhere. So... Y'all can't really see it as good, but it's storming. So I'm just going to go ahead and relax. I have to edit a video um, and I'm going to eat. So I'll see you guys later. hey you guys so i am back i know it's been a while since y'all saw my face but um today's friday thank goodness chat thank goodness um and i just wanted to come on and just chat with you guys real quick i have been having chow a time um ugh, i don't even know how to explain it or where to begin um so y'all know that um, my apartment has been chat they have been giving me all types of issues and I told you guys, I don't know if it was this vlog or the last vlog, but I told y'all that they're doing these tours. And when I tell y'all, it's been two weeks since I put my 30-day notice in and they're, we're going on tour number seven. Tour number seven will be on Monday. So I'm just, I'm mentally exhausted. I'm mentally drained going back and forth with them on top of all of the things that I have going on. So the move itself is hard enough to pack up all your stuff, child, and get out okay i literally knew um two weeks before i put my two weeks notice so six weeks before the move um and in your mind i think you had think you have more time than you actually do um so i really plan to pack a lot this weekend you guys know i'm going out of town fucking with my rounds next weekend okay and i'm very excited for that but that is also a source of my 
anxiety because that time that I won't be here I will also be missing time um packing up my place chow because the next weekend is the move so um on top of all of those things I'm trying to batch film content as well as edit content to make sure that I have content to put up chow while I'm in DC while I am doing the move after the move just in case I don't feel like filming you know I feel like I'll have bigger fish to fry chow so there is just a lot going on a lot of pressure a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and I live by myself so the only person I could really rely on like that is me um to get the things that I need done so today I really have been very productive I just finished filming a YouTube video I just fin finished filming two book reels for TikTok as well if you're interested in my book content definitely go ahead and check that out on TikTok I probably will still do like book reviews for um YouTube matter of fact let me let me do these reviews real quick so I did go ahead and finish two books um honestly not so recently I just haven't been keeping up with these so let me go ahead and start with this one this is called get out of your head by Jenny Allen um I didn't like this book at all I honestly should have DNF this book <laughs> if I'm being honest um this book <laughs> I just really didn't like it. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a self-help book when it is deeply re religious, deeply, deeply, deeply religious. And y'all know that um, I absolutely believe in God and I am religious to a certain extent. Um, but this was a bit much for me. Um, and honestly, it gave me white woman tears. It gave me very much middle class. I'm kind of wealthy. I have money to do stuff, but I'm, I'm sad about things that are out of my control. And I just, I, ugh. Um, that's why I think it's very important to read authors um, of color, especially when you're of color. Um, <laughs> um, this book was just very irritating to read for me. I'm actually surprised I read it. It took me a really, really long time to read this book. I usually finish books like every two weeks. This, it took me like a month and a half. Like it took me three times the time to read this book. Um, she is, I want to say maybe like a minister. Um, she was able to go on mission trips and she lives in a nice house and was able to just pick up and move and do all of these things. Um, and not to say that everybody doesn't go through stuff, but I felt like there was no acknowledgement for everyday issues either. So there were no talks of race, which the author is white. She's a white woman. So she, you know, um, <laughs> um that and then on top of that there were no no conversations around finances which is a lot of anxiety you know when you don't have money to pay your bills or to do the things that you need to do to care for your family and um I don't like that those topics weren't touched on because personally those are things that I would imagine are a lot of anxiety stricken ideas um and it really wasn't talked about and honestly there weren't a whole lot of solutions in this book it was the solutions were to pray which you know I feel like yeah I could agree with and then the solution was also um that you have a choice which I 100% agree you have a choice but there's certain situations where you don't have a choice um so what do you do in those situations and I honestly feel like those were the two answers that we were given in this book um so for me I don't like this book um wouldn't recommend sorry and the next book I have is called Nothing Burns as Bright as You by Ashley Woodfolk. And well, let me tell y'all, I actually really, really enjoyed this book. So much so that I'm kind of surprised. So, oh, scared me. Scared me. This book is written in verse. So it's, it's a poem. It's poems written like a novel. And that I loved because y'all know I read, um, what is that? The Poet X. And I did like that, but it doesn't compare to this. So this book is written about two girls who were best friends turned lovers. Um, they're teenagers. We actually don't know the names of either of the girls, which I, I love when authors can do that because I knew exactly who she was talking about, but I didn't know who she was talking about. Okay. Um, there's this like fascination with fire between the two. Hence, nothing burns as bright as you. It explores temporary love with a very, very deep intensity, but it doesn't last. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is my first time reading a book like that where you love somebody so much, but you have to let them go. 
it's not a forever love it's it's they were there for a reason in the season that you needed them and I felt like this is the first book that I've ever read that it really explores that concept and I absolutely 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 love that it also tackles like that first love codependency type of situation um, I feel like most of us have similar experiences with that 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 codependency that's almost toxic but you can't look away like it's so beautiful that you don't want to look away but that's what made it even harder when they when they had to step away from each other um they knew it wasn't going to work but they kept trying because in, in another world in another dimension it could have but it just it couldn't it also took a turn at the end that i really did not see coming at all at all y'all but i did really really like this book so much so i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 um and i'm actually gonna keep this book hello um so yeah y'all this i was very surprised i really really like this so much so that now i want to explore all the other books that the author wrote and speaking of other books so in order to reward myself for all of the things that i have been doing i'm going to the bookstore i'm going to the bookstore yes i am yes i am yes i am also i'm thinking about getting a kindle y'all now i never knew that i was going to be a e-reader type girl because I like to physically, you know, sit there with my book, with my highlighter and all of that. But, um, chat, moving with these books is ghetto. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm really thinking about getting an e-reader. Unfortunately, I missed Amazon Prime Day. Ugh. Um, but I'm really thinking about getting one. They're not that expensive. I've spent more on shoes, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm really thinking about getting that. So, yeah. But I'm going to the bookstore. I told y'all I live down the street from Barnes & Noble. So I'm going down there because I have a $5 reward. And there's one book in particular that I do want to get. Hopefully they have it. Hopefully they have it. Um, you know, if not, I'll find something else. But like I said, I have a t this $5 reward. So I plan on spending it. Okay. And then I'm also going to order some food because I've really been feeding for the, the chicken tenders from Chili's. That really, that's really sounding delicious. Mouth watering for me. So yeah, y'all, that's what I'm about to do. I have packed two boxes today. Like I said, I filmed three videos two for tiktok one for youtube i plan to pack this weekend tomorrow we do have to go to target um so i could get like some pre-move stuff but yeah that's the plan for tonight so let's go all right y'all more products i'm getting rid of and then i just filled up this bin and now just about all my products are in like I can't put in the ones with like lids or this is what I'm using next week in oils. Good morning you guys. So today is Saturday. Sorry if y'all hear my air conditioner but it's a bajillion degrees outside. Um, and we're about to go to Target. Well actually we're going to get some coffee first because um, um, but yeah so we're going to Target. I'm going to do some packing today. I need to do some editing today. Like I said I'm trying to pre-edit a lot of stuff. Oh look cute um so yeah today we're going to target we're going to get some like pre-moving stuff um i haven't been like big grocery shopping because i'm trying to use up you know the stuff that i have so that i don't have to take that stuff with me as y'all can see the house looks like a construction zone um so i want to pack a little bit more today like i said i really 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 want to get down to editing a lot of these videos um between today and tomorrow i just started a new book <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna head to Target and see what type of stuff I can find. Also, it's gonna be the last time I go to this Target right down the street from me. Not the last time, but like, you know what I mean, not living down the street type. Um, and then I do need to go recycle some stuff today, and then I think, I think that's it. So let me give y'all a quick little, little outfit one too. So like I said, it is 100,000 degrees outside, so I just have on this little romper, um, and this little headband so that my hair will be out my face and my burks per usual but yeah y'all let's go ahead and go to target
Alright you guys, so I'm back and I'm very much crusty per usual at this point. <sighs> and y'all, I am so tired. So I um, was up pretty early this morning. Like I said, we went to Target. Y'all saw all those clips and stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I got in a second here. But I... Y'all. I did get a couple new books. So when I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday, I picked up The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. And I um, had a $5 gift card, first of all. Um, and I got this one because The Proposal, which is a book that I have, is the second book in this series. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up so, so that I could read this first and then go in with The Proposal for obvious reasons. And then today at Target, I saw this. This is called One Summer in Savannah by Tara Shelton. Yeah. Um, and then I did go and take the books that I didn't plan on keeping and with the store credit that I got I got in Every Mirror She's Black and this one is by Lola um, Akash mm -hmm. yeah um, and this is a book that I really been wanting and this is a hardcover and I didn't even know they made this in hardcover so with the credit that I got from selling those books I ended up getting this one so I did pick up a couple books but I am excited of course about all of my books um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unpack all of the things that I got from Target today. I did pretty good. I only spent $100 and they did like if you spent 50 on household stuff, you get a $15 gift card. So I got a $15 gift card too. So let me go ahead. I'm going to unpack all of that stuff. And then um, I think I'm going to take a nap, baby, because I'm tired. And then I'm going to get up and edit and pack and whatever else. Hey you guys so i'm back it has been child quite a few days um and whew, um child it has been quite a few days i really haven't been doing anything special i've been you know like packing um you know, nothing a whole bunch of nothing child um <laughs> so yeah nothing interesting i wanted to pop one because tomorrow i'm actually going to dc for the ubiquitous hair show which i'm going to literally take a break from this vlog vlog my weekend trip there and then i'll come back and we'll vlog the rest of my um next week here next week is my last week in this place so chill um everything is literally just about boxed up as you guys can see bins here there's literally bins all over the place so next week I will be um, taking my pictures down, breaking down my couch because my couch does come apart. It's from Amazon. Um, and then my dad is coming to break down my bed. And then Saturday I will be moving. So that's that. And then the actual moving vlog will be a whole separate vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to pop one just to kind of let you guys know what's up. I know it's been a couple days. Yeah, y'all. I guess I will bring you guys along for a little bit more packing. <laughs> Chill, come on. Hey y'all, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> um, I actually was just editing one of my previous vlogs. Hey girl. Um, so you guys will see this vlog before this. But what I was doing, I actually gave you guys a little clip of what my apartment looks like. And I thought it would be really cool to show you guys um, what my place is looking like now that it's, you know, all the way packed and stuff. So let me turn the light on. Okay, much, much better. So um, both of these drawers are pretty much empty just like you know random stuff that needs to go in bags 
all of my clothing drawers on both sides are empty so my jewelry box i'll just tape tape that up joe um <laughs> my sunglasses i need to figure out how i'm going to transport those those are still the lotion the stuff that i'm using daily do i need that many no but you gotta know i like options but my drawers are completely empty my closet honey i only have clothes um for the next week or so and then i do have some stuff in office because i wasn't sure if i was going to have to go into the office or not this week but it doesn't look like i am i do have a lot of shoe boxes but honestly i usually put that stuff in my hamper <laughs> because i like to keep my boxes um that is nail polishes up there my shoe bin i'll just pop a lid on that this box i'm actually gonna put some kitchen stuff in there i bought bubble wrap and all of that so i'm gonna stack it with clothes to keep it you know as safe as possible my empties bag probably will be utilized at some point i have a little beauty bag back here that has like little random lotions perfumes all that type of stuff again more clothes to go in this box all right y'all so we made it to my bathroom there's a lot going on in my bathroom right now because i have things that i need to pack for my trip i need to do my facial and all of that but if you guys were privy to the last vlog y'all knew i had a lot of stuff down here this is empty now just little random ins and outs um same thing with this drawer random things and then um this one i still need to just i'm gonna just zip this bag up chair both of them and just toss them somewhere and that's pretty much my bathroom. I am throwing away this rug because it's kind of dingy now, but you know. All right, and then I came into my kitchen. So this is what my current kitchen looks like. And let me tell y'all, one of the best things about my new place is how much bigger the kitchen is. I literally, literally, literally cannot wait to show you guys the new kitchen. There's so much cabinet space. There's so much counter space. Like, it's a stainless steel refrigerator, hello? Because that's what they advertised for this place, and they absolutely did not. But, you know, I digress. So as you guys can see over here, I have two um little bags full of like random stuff so this is more like dry foods type of things and then this is like a little bit of everything i have like my teas in there i have um you know my reusable cups and everything so right now what's left is like this type of stuff you know like my pans i'm still going to cook my keurig like those type of things i can't really you know live without <laughs> but um i have little random stuff up here this isn't a whole shelf i'm just probably going to only keep the spaghetti i do have a lot of other containers like that down here with like random things um in that box i plan to put like plates and stuff hopefully my mugs i took most of my snacks down um and those are already packed in a bag maybe i'll finish these maybe i won't we'll see um and then nothing crazy like this one's empty and then again i'm gonna hope to fit most of these in that box and then we turn to the tornado called my living room so a couple more bags i have to fill up here these are all the things that i have packed so far literally stuff everywhere child the suitcase is full now um i mean look at all of this stuff y'all shelf is pretty much gone my closet my hall closet is pretty much empty um i'm getting rid of chair we all got the plastic bags i don't know i don't know what that's about i recycle um that's another computer monitor for my job and then i've had this little um trunk since college i'm getting rid of that um because i it's been in there since chair since I, okay um and then we have my desk which most of that stuff i also need um, you know, pins, totes, you know, all, all the whole nine, child. I broke down my candle thing so that that can be transported, child. There's really just, it feels like there's nothing left. Like, this is what, it feels like I'm moving now, y'all. It actually feels like I'm moving. I think tonight, it's like midnight. It's not midnight. It's like 11. Um, so I think I'm going to go through and see if I can figure out these pieces to this puzzle one more time. Um, I was thinking I could put the pieces in these little snack size baggies so that I'm not completely starting over because child, it's already taking me long enough to get where I am in this puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle. Why well, I thought I could do a thousand piece puzzle um, and this is my first puzzle I've ever done. I don't know. Um, but that way I can keep the sections sectioned. Um, the pieces I already have put together I could, you know, 
put them back together whenever I get to the new place. Bookshelf is empty. So yeah, y'all, that is what the place is currently looking like. I'm here with my friend Gabby. It's her first time trying Chick-fil-A breakfast. Please proceed. Yeah. Yeah. She got a spicy chicken biscuit. This is her first. First of all, don't mind her hair. We're about to go get that together. Yeah, don't even pay attention to it. Period. <laughs> and I'm glad I could change your life today, Gabby. Yeah, it's changed. The biscuit is crunchy and crispy. Mm. Okay, look at Gabby girl. Give me a spin. There's no way for this Wow. Rapunzel. <laughs> I'm so excited because this vlog is a weekend trip to DC and we are going to my very first hair show and I am so so excited. First things first, don't mind the little bra situation over here y'all know if you've been watching my vlogs i moved next week so everything is packed up child and i'm dealing with what i can <laughs> okay um so yes y'all i'm so excited but yeah y'all so i'm about to get on the road to dc i'm about five hours away so um i need to stop chow and get something to drink and i think i'm gonna get some french fries or something and just scarf those down real quick and then we're gonna hop on the road i'm gonna call my girlfriend kelsey i'll answer to pop up because i'm sure we'll be taking pictures all weekend so yeah y'all i'm so so excited it is so hot and for whatever reason i have no sweatpants so this is the outfit of the day literally just sweats um and then i have on my crocs i do have everything all packed in my car so i'll show you guys that when i get down there i haven't picked my hair at all or stretched or anything because like i said it is very hot so i want to make sure that it lasts for the weekend but tonight when we get there um we're going to hang out a little bit and then for the night i'm going to um wrap my hair like i normally do and i'm going to stretch the bottom section so that i'll really be able to pick and fluff tomorrow morning and then I also have a graduation party Sunday when I get back. So it's literally another weekend trip. Y'all know I've been weekend tripping all um, summer. So yeah, y'all, I'm so, so excited. Let's go ahead to the Chocolate City, honey. Okay, you guys, so we have made it to the hotel and I am beyond freaking excited. So we did decide to get separate rooms and when I tell y'all, look at this, baby, I'm about to act the fool. So this is the actual bedroom. We did get king size beds. Yes, ma'am, because this is a vacation, honey. Um, so this is going to be the bed. There's a nice big TV. Look at the mirror, honey. Look at the aesthetic. Like a little desk. I did. Ah, chair. Y'all would be so proud of me because I actually left my laptop at home. So there will be no editing of any sorts happening. I did. You know, this is my stuff. Look at this little reading chair. I cannot wait for the freaking morning. To go ahead and sit there and read and let me show y'all the view because it's absolutely sickening so let's see what it is looking like y'all get into the view of the city obsessed okay um and i'm so excited to look over and see that in the morning that's actually kelsey's room right over there um and then of course there's a full body mirror there's a closet here this is actually me hey Hey, you guys. And then the bathroom. Oh, baby. I'm about to act up. So here is bathroom. Y'all know I'm kind of little. So here I am. Nice size bathroom for sure. So bathroom lighting. Immaculate, honey. But can we get into the shower? Babes. I'm about to act up, okay? Um, and I am going to try to film, film a few reels and stuff of that sort. Um, 
my hair is definitely big i need to see if they have a blow dryer because i really want to stretch my hair out i do have a couple scrunchies there but yeah let's go see what kelsey is up to we did bring products to um sort of swap so i am excited to see what she has for me as well as excited to see if she likes what i brought for her so let's go see kelsey okay y'all so we have a new development me and kelsey figured out well kelsey figured out how to open the door and all we had to do was push it unlock the lock and now we're in kelsey's room okay we made it to dc yes. we with our girls you want to tell them where they can find you i'm kelsey also known as princessa curls on instagram youtube all Her. the media platforms tomorrow we're going to the hair show we're uh -huh. going to see a bunch of natural hair brands typical Maya, shea moisture all of the above mm -hmm. and yeah we're here with my tequila surprise okay and we also got two shots. I don't remember. This was Royal something. Yeah. And then this one was cinnamon. cinnamon Toast or something. Cinnamon Toast. Tequila Sunrise. So, yeah. Excited. Okay, you guys. So, we're back. And we made it back to the hotel room. Y'all should have seen the clips and all of that. And a little forewarning. We're a little lit. A tad. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, but you know, we finally figured out how to open our, our adjoining doors. And that's a game changer for us. Okay. So free and easy to just walk by through and be like, hey girl, hey. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Dropping the products <laughs> off. So, we planned to do a little product swap for each other. So, here is Kelsey's bag of stuff. Don't ask me what this is from, but Chet, yeah, we listen. <laughs> and now listen, y'all. So for the hotel, we thought that we were going to have to pay to park. Thank God we did not. Thank God we did Included. not. Included. Included. Cheers to that. Um. So yeah, we decided to do a little product swap for each other. So what should we do? Should we like you pull out a product? I yeah. Pull out a product? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So the first product for me that came in my mind for to me, melanin. This is their silkening and strengthening melanin plumping and deep conditioner. Mm. So I've tried this product a couple times. Now listen, I've told you guys in vlogs before. Me and Kelsey really talk like every day about what a whole bunch of nothing, but we really mm -hmm. do be talking every single day. Every day. <laughs> So the product that I have here is the Shea Moisture. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed. This is the Stronghold Gel. Now y'all know, Miss Princess of Curls, she is a wash and go. Hello, she's a wash and go girl. Y'all know I'll be fumbling Strictly, all the words. Okay, pretty much. And no. this didn't necessarily work for me, but I feel like this might work for her. So I'm intrigued to see what sort of real concoction situation she will come up with it. <laughs> Why am I somewhat over my words like that? <laughs> yeah, this line. No, I really, really did love this line. Um, yes. What product did I like from it? I like the treatment. The treatment product, mm -hmm. definitely because of high quality ingredients, yeah. JPCO. A yeah. lot of good ingredients in here, so I'm pretty sure I like this. And it's 15 ounces, like, and I use probably like one and a half. So she got a whole drawer to figure it out. And is this really strong hold? For me, no. Mm. For me, no. It would probably give me like a medium, I if depending. It's Glycerin is a big factor in the summer and typically for is, gels, I don't really use glycerin in the summer. I try to stay away as much as possible in the summer. I love curl days, so I had to go and give her some curl days. This is the creamy curl styler. I love this as a one and done on my hair, my hair type. Mm -hmm. So, and the gel is a popular one, but this one right here for me, one and done wash and go. Oh, y'all saw that I picked up the gel as well. And when I got it, I sent Kelsey a picture because I know she's obsessed with this gel. Obsessed. So I sent her a picture and listen, <laughs> it just gotta be up to the hype, okay? It gotta be up to that. Cause all of y'all, I've had several of you guys, Kinky Crew family members who are like, you gotta try curl days, you gotta try curl days. And I could never find it on the ground. Like my Walmart never had it. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, sometimes it'd be sold out. You gotta like really like be looking for it and find it. <laughs> but the gel was my found. favorite. Gel is my favorite and then the cream styler. So Well y'all know I'm a twist out girl and on the jar it does say for twist outs and braid outs. It says air go. washing goes, but y'all know I'm a I'm a braid out girl. It got some hold, so it could do that. And I'm excited for that because y'all yes. know 
we love a little hold around here we love mm-hmm. a little hold mm-hmm. so what else i brought for kelsey was the main choice ancient egyptian shampoo and conditioner now i do love he want to try these but honestly y'all know i just had too many shampoos and conditioners and i have quite a few from the main choice as well and kelsey said she wanted to try these she liked the you like the gel right? the gel it had a good consistency it like clumped my curls i don't know what consistency consistency mm-hmm. was it but clumped my curls really nicely so i, I like the it. main choice gels like yeah, i like well. the they're sticky for sure sticky but yeah you could wash the stickiness off of you but i feel like the stickiness on my hair really makes it last i agree so i got the curl smith bond curl rehab solve now this is bay this is number one color treated hair i absolutely love it literally this treat it like a protein treatment even though it's a bond curl rehab solve pretty much like a protein treatment Mm -hmm. so i love using this before i think it's before shampooing i like using it that way okay and then along with the ancient egyptian line i also brought kelsey to jail because i remember mm-hmm. her telling me that she really liked the gel i only used the gel like one time for one braid out and for me i did like it but mm-hmm. i leaned more towards the pearly braid out glaze like i went yeah. through jars and jars and jars of those pearly. so that's the blue that's yeah the blue one. that was a really good i one. love yeah. that one this is pattern leave-in conditioner defined and moisturized so i've used this like i would say two times max but i did like it and i know i feel like for you it will do better for tighter textures so Mm -hmm. i'm gifting this to you Mm. y'all know i have low-key a lot of pattern products and i've never tried pattern um and i recently bought the mousse for like black friday or something so Mm. very excited and then the next thing i brought for kelsey was a carol's daughter product this is the prakashi nectar style control gel and honestly i just don't know that this is going to work for me like it's mm-hmm. one of those like looser gels and i don't know sometimes those looser gels like surprise me and they mm-hmm. dry down with a lot of hold but True. other times they don't and i know that kelsey likes to do like creamy um like one and done wash and goes whereas for me mm-hmm. if i'm doing a wash and go i need like grit i need whole like <laughs> or else my my hair is just gonna eat it up literally my hair will bully a gel a light holding gel it will bully a gel Not so <laughs> i <laughs> no it's really giving give me your lunch money because mm-hmm. like i just i want to love this product but i feel like it's better for me to pass this on because i in my mind this is a great product i just don't think that it'll work for me mm-hmm. so let me see yeah this i feel like okay see right here touchable hold mm-hmm. i'm already side eyeing but I, okay so with your texture you side eye that too yeah because it's a gel so i don't want touchable hold with right. gel like touchable hold to me is like a cream with the hold like curl days like touchable hold i'll do that but like with the gel like if it's a touchable hold that already gives me like it's not gonna give I me wish five I days you to leave in too it's a yeah. spray leave-in though like luster spin came out with like new products look like, newer i would say like last year type of newer so this is hold and shine perfecting gel i've used this about twice and it did really well for wash and go on my hair from like a one to ten with hold on my hair i'll probably give it like i want to say a seven so it gave me nice hold but i feel like it'd probably give you like four to five four days like okay yeah and y'all know i'm not mad at that because i love days. a good old puff i yeah. love a puff i have the canvas beauty full bloom infinitely deep conditioner now i've never tried this and this product does have a silicone as well so if you ever blow out or something that's yeah. probably when I would reach for this. That's like exactly. how I use my TGIN Honey Miracle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I have two of these. And I don't know. Like, they sold these in Target. I know they're black. Um, I've seen them in Target. But it's kind of yeah. like, I, I wasn't really noticing it. Like, it was like three they little drowned lines. out. Like, they drowned out. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I've seen it, but I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> like, y'all, look at the packaging. Like, it's just such cute packaging. We love the pink. We love the gold. The little lady on the side. Like, I don't know i want to love this and i figured since i haven't used it i should at least give one of them away so then we can try it and compare notes okay i got the uncle funky's curly magic curl stimulator so for me it gave me nice very good hold so me and this is this gives me flaxy like flaxy type of vibe so me and my hair it's like it gives me noodles and stringy curls when i use it so I gotta use it a certain way like my technique changes with this gel I gotta make sure I clump the curls or with like a brush to make sure it gives me that and not noodle strings but I do like it for the hold and I know even for like tighter textures I feel like it'll even be 
more defined than how it looks on my hair so I'm gifting it but then the last thing that I have for Kelsey is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Shaping Cream Gel now y'all know this did not work for me like this actually flaked really bad for me man yeah. but I know for sure that I use too much because I use too much of everything did like you put leave-in with that or is it water like what did you is it I used a light spray leave-in okay I, it was probably one of the Shea Moisture ones either mm -hmm. the um blue Manuka honey one because I love that uh -huh. or the um coconut one I also mm -hmm. love that one but I feel like maybe the combo y'all know I'm still scared the one and done but this is one of the most moisturizing gels like I putting like this that. on my hair I was like hmm so this is a gel yes it's like a cream gel to like open it up it's definitely more like creamy snot oh yeah this probably would do good on my hair I got some my y'all this is the pomegranate and honey curl smoothie so if you like cream to hold like I do for washing goals and stuff I think this would do well for that because I feel like this is a smoothie slash cream that like has hold and it's kind of hard to find I don't say hard but it's like finding that good one and I feel like this is a great one to have if you have dry hair I feel like this on top of eco or wet line or like a hard holding gel with this boom like it's gonna be great okay you guys mm. not giving not giving so we left the um hair show and honestly it's giving like paperwork like corporate yes like they didn't even really have products we got her what like one yeah one ish, one -ish. it's three now i don't even think we were there that long to be honest like <laughs> 45 minutes in and out in and out y'all so mm -hmm. we're still kind of tore up from last night so um like where's the next two that's what we're thinking about no literally so i think we're gonna go back to the hotel yeah. and now we want to buy products because it's like <laughs> no real sales. no products no real sales good morning vlog today is sunday and um we're actually getting ready to leave we're getting dressed and all packed up um yesterday we went to a taco tex-mex type of place very mid for me kelsey said her food was good but um i got like two tacos and it was very mm -mm. um but yeah so now we're about to go to breakfast take our things to the car go park our cars and everything and then i'm um, going to go ahead and head home i have a graduation party to go to today as well so i am booked up this weekend but yeah i'm going to pick up whenever we decide to or whatever we leave for breakfast take my um, little headscarf off when my edges are laying i did stretch out my hair a little bit because it was shrinking all the way up but yeah y'all so i will see you guys at breakfast <laughs> Hey you guys so as you guys can see i am back at home in the storage unit chair because y'all know my house is looking crazy because i move now in a couple days so today's monday and i move on saturday thank god okay um so yeah y'all i actually had to include the hair show situation in a vlog because honestly the hair show wasn't really a hair show to me 
y'all heard me and kelsey's thoughts on that but we're just going to include it in this vlog because it honestly wasn't that that much content so i don't know that i wanted to make it its own whole vlog but you know it's cool so i'm going ahead and doing my hair now i have deep conditioner in that i'm actually about to go rinse out and then i'm going to film today my last wash and go in this place so yeah i just wanted to come back in and close out the vlog um our next vlog is going to be a moving vlog moving vlog which i'm so so excited about um to get the heck up out of this place and i'm so excited to share my new space with you guys unpacking having my you know a new little area and all of that i feel like my creative juices are flowing honey so yeah you guys it is going to be a good time so thank you guys for watching to the end of this vlog i love you so so much if you made it to the end of this vlog um you leave the house emoji leave me a house emoji if you made it to the end of the vlog but yeah you guys i love you so so much and i will see you in my next video bye